If you want science and technology to have its greatest impact, early dialogue between scientists, between politicians, between decision makers can make a pronounced difference in, in, in the future. Science and Technology 219 is the seventh of our Science and Technology conferences where we bring experts from around the planet to see how we can improve our technologies and how best it can be used for something beyond the first mandate of the organization, the detection of potential nuclear test explosion. Climate change and war, including nuclear weapons, are the two main dangers at the beginning of the 21st century. To answer the questions, to make a judgment, to have a solid basis for diplomatic actions, you need science and technology. It was great to see a young scientist presenting the work that's hers on Beryllium-7 research and being able to predict monsoons up to seven weeks before the storms come to bear. The CTBTO youth participants in this conference are absolutely courageous about the work that they've done. Tonight, four to five ladies from different regions of the world talking about the challenges that women face. The inclusion of women in science and technology, it would lead to a much higher and faster advancement in science and technology. One of the things that I have seen repeatedly in my career looking at diplomatic efforts is that there is almost always a technical solution if people are just willing to put in the effort to find it. At a time where those tensions are rising between different parties and international peace and security seems to look as if it was at risk, we're finding the right nexus between science and diplomacy at the CTBT Science and Technology. We have ambassadors, policy makers, civil society, international community who are coming to listen to the science behind this treaty, listening to what is out there that we've been doing for more than 20 years, and then get them to reflect at the end of the day what matters. It's science at the service of policies.